Hi everybody, it's Kitty Parade and today I have two new Monster High dolls. I have a Cleo Denial and a Laguna Blue and these are Ghoul's Beast Pet uh, dolls. That means it's a doll with a cute little pet. And uh, this is part of the new Monster High reboot. I know people are probably getting tired of people saying that. In fact, I don't think I'm going to say that after this. This will be it for me. Uh, but these are uh, newish dolls and I'm really excited to get a look at them. So let's start off with Cleo. And well, let's get a look at the box too. It's kind of cute. It's got kind of a coffiny shape in the background there and you can see through it almost all the way around which is nice it illuminates the doll in there and there she is miss cleo denial she's got a cute little dress on she has a cute little kitty cat there with jewelry on and my very favorite she has these amazing awesome shoes that have cats on the heels egyptian cats so i'm really excited about that cute little drawing of her with her little beast friend her little beastie pet so let's get a look at the back cute picture of Cleo with her cat how do you boo and there it tells how she boos if you want to stop and read that you can I think I'm gonna pass that today here's another little story blurb also available Laguna Blue which we have over there to open and I am not gonna waste any more time I'm gonna get her out of here Okay, <laughs> it's pretty ripped up, but I'll just show you the little back. It's kind of orange and black. Little background with a bone and some animal prints. And it's exactly the same on Laguna, so we won't have to look at that for her. All right, let's get a look at this doll. Actually, she is really beautiful. The first thing that is catching my eyes are her beautiful aqua blue eyes. I don't remember her having aqua blue eyes like that, but this one does. Um... Let's see, her hair is super soft. I'm noticing that right away too. Now here's something I haven't seen before. I've seen Cleo with the gold strands in her hair, like real kind of gold strands, and this is kind of blonde gold. And I actually really like it. I actually prefer it to the gold strands because it gives the same effect, but her hair is really soft, easy to brush, I imagine, and just feels better than when you get those gold strands. In fact, I have a Wave 1, an original, the very first Cleo here. I'm going to compare to her in just a minute. See, she does not have earrings and she does not have earring holes. Uh, something new I'm noticing about this one is she has mummy wrap skin, which I think is really creepy. So maybe some of you Monster High purists who thinks it's getting too cutesy, that's kind of creepy. In fact, I don't really like it, but you know, that I'm just not used to it perhaps. There it goes down this leg and then this leg is just a plain leg. So she does have a little bangle bracelet on here, and I love this dress. In fact, I wanted this set for the outfit, the shoes, and the dress. And on it are these beautiful black Egyptian cats and this gold ribbon wrapping around. And it does look like it has a, a Velcro-ish uh, closure on the back. Now that's a really nice little dress and then the ribbon piping around the bottom. That is pretty darn cute. The little black cats remind me of Cleo's Vanity. I don't know if you ever saw Cleo's Vanity, but it has some cool black cats or Egyptian looking cats on it. And then here's the shoes for me. This is what it was all about. Look, this has got like little cat ears and eyes on the top and then on the back. The Egyptian cat statues. I want these shoes. These are so amazing. Somebody should just make some shoes like this. I want them. I'd wear them. People would stop me everywhere I went. Maybe that wouldn't be good. I don't know. And so there you have it. That is her mostly. So let's sit her here for a moment. And gosh, oh wow, I don't know if you can see, but her, she's shedding. She's got like hair everywhere. I don't know what's up with that, but kind of interesting. All right, let's get a look at her pet here. It's a very cutesy cat. Uh, it doesn't look very Egyptian, and I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I love the elegant, sleek Egyptian cats like this Sphinx style cat. I do like this removable necklace that looks like you could maybe even interchange it with other future pets, perhaps. 
Uh, it is a nice little cat that stands up on its own and it is really cute. But I don't know, I just imagine Cleo having something a little sleeker, a little slicker, maybe even a little more wicked looking. But it's pretty darling, kind of reminds me of an early uh, Littlest Pet Shop. And that little pet comes with this adorable little gold bowl here. And I did notice both of the pets came with uh, an accessory. So actually, I guess she came with two because she's got the necklace and the little gold bowl. Okay, before I totally move on to Laguna, I did want to do a comparison that I have an original Wave 1 Clio here. I just opened this out of the box uh, recently, and I'll put a link up here for you if you would like to see me open the box that the original Clio came in. She came with a uh, deuce in a two-pack. Uh, you know, she does look cuter. She looks a little bit more like Barbie sweet big blue eyes here she has these elongated eyes and looks a little more exotic and here she looks a little bit more beach bunny or something but she's cute and it's not totally crazy different although it is different one thing I was always wondering is if their heads are bigger what do you think do you think their heads are bigger I think they might be a smidge bigger like wider do you think cheek to cheek a little bit wider and as you can see, this doll has that gold strand in the hair, as I was telling you about. And this one's just got the gold blonde, which I actually prefer. So I would love this look of Cleo with this hair. Could we make that happen? I wonder. Somebody could. All right. Oh, and then this Cleo doesn't have the uh, imprints in her arms. And her limbs are thinner and slimmer. And I got to say, you know, I everyone was up in arms about the the new dolls getting cutesified and all that. And the thing I noticed the most that stands out to the most to me is just the quality. I feel like the quality has gone down a little bit. Um, they just feel not as well constructed or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, I do think she's really cute. And uh, I am pleasantly surprised uh, and pleased with this doll. I actually really like her. All right, let's get a look at Miss Laguna here. And she looks like she has pretty soft, pretty hair in there too. And there's her little pet turtle. Looks like it has a little ball. I love her little one piece dress there. It looks totally 80s. And it looks like she's got some pretty cool little wedgie shoes in there too. There's a picture of her with her little beastie. And let's see, there's another picture and there it tells how she boos. If you want to pause and read that. And I'm going to go ahead and open her too. Okay, gosh, I still have Cleo's hair everywhere. That is weird. I don't know why she's losing her hair so much. Maybe she's not getting enough vitamins or something. All right, Lady Laguna, let's have a lovely look at you. Well, her hair is pretty fabulous. Gosh, it's just like silky, fabulous, just beach bunny. Look at her. It does, it's blonde with this pretty aqua blue highlight in it, and it's very golden, almost yellow. Very, very soft. Cute. I actually really like it. No hairspray, no crazy hairdo, but but it's also not too cheap looking like it's pretty generous with a big head of hair. She has a darling face. I don't have an early Laguna handy at this moment, uh, but she does look a little bit cutesier, although Laguna was always cute because she's got those little freckles there, and I like her little blue eyebrows, and of course she's got these little... These little Thin ears, no earrings. And then this adorable little sack dress, totally 80s, with little turtles and shells on it. And again, Velcro's up the back, little bracelet here. Here's what I was interested in and were the, um, the fins on the side because they always fall off on the original one. In fact, whenever I find Lagunas at garage sales, I always buy them just for the little fins to replace ones I get. And this is one piece. This is attached to the arm. So that one is not going to fall off. So I really like that. You know, another thing I'm noticing is this one is articulated at the wrist. And I had 
uh, opened a, what was it? It was a Frankie Stein doll from the science set. In fact, I'll put a link for that too, in case you want to see that. And she was articulated everywhere except for the wrists. So uh, I'm happy to see that that's not ending. That was just that particular doll. And a cute little bracelet. I don't know if you can see it. It looks kind of like shells or coral or both. And then down here, these... I'm going to try my hardest to pull it out. Oh, and it does snap out. Okay. And I don't know if it will interchange with the old ones. I kind of doubt it. And then these amazing fin or gill shoes or scale. That's what I'm thinking. Hello. Little fish scales wedgie platforms. I think those are really, really cute. I like them. So I like the outfits on these dolls. Yeah. They're worth it just for the outfit. And they are cute. They're really pretty. I don't think they're totally over the top cutesy cutesy but they do look kind of barbie-fied i'm not sure you guys gotta let me know what do you think all right let's get laguna back here let's look at her little pet turtle let's see and it really reminds me of little bit list pet shop especially the really early kenner little list pet shops looked kind of cutesy with little eyes like that and um pretty darling though with a little bow in its on its head little shell little tail little flippers pretty darling I don't know let's put it next to the cat what do you think so what do you guys think do you like the new little pets or are you just happy to get pets since we haven't had pets for a long time that's kind of how I feel I'm kind of happy to have a pet oh and the little turtle came with a little ball a ball to play with that's cute it's cute for all the dolls and everything all right everybody that is the ghouls beast pet right there so let's do a little poll which is your favorite do you like laguna do you like cleo or do you like the pets <laughs> all right everybody make sure you subscribe for future videos and bye for now